Um, what other than Scotland? Um, I presume it would have to be the All Blacks. They're on form at the moment and they will be the, the team to beat, I reckon, when it comes down to the, the next World Cup. I suppose, hmm, I would go with Richie McCaw because he knows all the tricks in the book, legal and, and otherwise. So he's, yeah, he'll be the one to look out for. Um, I think it's we're, we're not afraid to have a go and we will play from anywhere in the pitch and we can actually play exciting rugby when we, when we can set our mind to it. Well, my brother, of course. I think I'll have to pick that one simply because he's my brother. And any games I can get pitch time with him, it's great. We've not had not had that many, unfortunately, but I'll take every single one. Um, you know, there's a few jokers in the Scotland team. Um, I'm going to say Scotty McLeod and I'll not go into why. <laughs> uh, I'll go for Ramey is, um, just because I find what he does pretty interesting. Um, I'll go for Rick Stein, because I love seafood. That's a good, good cook. Um, I'll go Billy Connolly for the entertainment. It's going to take a while. Um, well, soon it's not going to be a line so far. I'll take awesome serious clean sweep. Oh, wait. <laughs> Bath. Need a long soak after some games. Uh, X Factor for the eye candy. Uh, Facebook, because I'm not on Twitter at all. Um, I'm a foodie, so dinner date. Brown sauce all the way, northern. Marmite. I've been in England at Murrayfield and winning the Calcutta Cup. That was a, a good time for me. Go down well with the English beetle, but there we go. <laughs>